So we're hanging out with a man, Freddie Mayway, and um, I have the privilege to actually own one of his latest album. <laughs> You have been doing music for years, Freddie. And for me, I remember from my childhood days, I listened to your music and I tried to dance like your people. And today, unfortunately... That, means that uh, I'm your father. You're likely to be my father. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you after the interview. Now I can't. Uh, if you are my, my daughter, I can't. Oh, you, but you still look young. You look like... Um... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bad. Oh, oh, my God. You're speaking to That's interesting. No, but, I mean, it's fun. And um, today, when you look back and you actually even play your song like uh, Zo Plazo, any young child can still dance to it. Once they see your movement, they are able to do it. But today, unfortunately for us, we have a lot of musicians who will do music and it will last for a year or two, and that's just it. Some call it fast, fast music. Others just come, they do their thing and go. Um, is it the case? What, what do you think is actually wrong with the system? You think that um, that's the right thing to do? I think uh, um, they, don't know, they don't know that uh, music is a job. And to make this job, you have to learn it first. Me, I learned before become a musician and a singer and uh, a star today. And if I'm still there, like 30 years after or 29 years after, it's because I learned first. Uh, now, most of them want to use uh, uh, the short way uh, to be a celebrity is not a good idea because you can be a star for one day and disappear after. So the best idea or the best advice is I can give to them is to learn first and take time to learn. And if you go in the studio, write a song for the life. Don't write a song for the fashion for one day because the a Nigerian singer is doing this so I want to do the same thing or a, an, an American singer is doing this so I want to do the same thing to be like the no no learn and go to you know take something original in your culture Africa we are very rich look how you dress I like that. Look, I'm, I'm, you see that. Eh? This is African material. So, we have so many things here. We don't use it. So, it's time now. And it's this example I came uh, to show with my brothers and sisters, Ghanaian, on stage. <laughs> Now, do you think that technology is the one that has caused this? Because now, back then, uh, when you go to the studio, you have to do a lot. But now, there's computers, so when you just do a beat, you can just go there, sit there, and just add two and two together and then you have a song. Do you think technology is the cause of this? According to me, uh, don't put the fault to only the, the, the computer and the technology. It's the man who create the technology. It's the human who create the, uh, the network and everything. So we have to control it. We can use with uh, like uh, on, on the smart way, the computer. When you use a computer, be smart. Uh, don't use it uh, uh, just to, 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 to play. It's uh, something to, we can use to go fast, but use it smartly.
So me, I use, everybody use a computer. Everybody use it. But you have to use it specially with, uh, on the professional way. All right, now, hmm, music in Africa. Now, of course, um, we had one of the biggest awards in Africa. We would call it the Grammys, but in Africa we called it the Kora Awards. Now, this Kora Awards awarded top African musicians who were contributing so much to music in Africa. But it's dead. Did you have an opportunity to win a Kora Award back then? Me? I won already, several times. I'm one of the artists in Africa who won the most of Kora. I, I have, I think, five Kora. The first time I went to Kora Music Award in South Africa, it was in uh, 96. In 96, I won one Kora for the best singer of West Africa. The second time I won three chorus the same, at the same time. The chora of the best singer of West Africa, the chora of the best arranger, uh, the best producer, and the chora of uh, the best video, three. It's the second time. And the the third the third time I won one like a legend of African music the last time. So I have I have five. I have five. So I'm very sad uh, uh, the score music award disappeared. But I think it's not uh, bad. Uh, I meet the the chairman already several times. I met him in uh, Abidjan a few months ago, Mr. Ernest Ajovi. He's a, a, a Benin guy. And uh, he's still fighting to do it, but he need money and he need help. He need help of the our states. He need help of our executive. So, if uh, one day in Ghana you want to make the Kora Music Award here, oh, Mpocho, President Ado, if is you are interested, I can connect you to Mr. Ernest Jovi to come in Accra to do the next um, Kora Music Award. <laughs> wow. It's quite sad that it's no more. But in this case, that it's no more. I mean, we've heard about the African Music Magazine Awards, which is, um, they say, is also African. Um, I don't know, it's gradually growing, and it is also awarding um, best or top African artists. Um, with all of this, since Cora is also, how are we going to, I mean, award our musicians? Because they say your hard work pays, but if your hard work, of course, you're doing it, and at the end of the day, it's not everybody who's looking to win awards, but at least we need something that we can also call our music awards. What do you think we musicians, you musicians, can do to also bring this together, the music awards that will celebrate musicians across Africa? I think it's a good idea, and I thank you to talk about that, but be sure is not the most important. Uh, the most important is your own award. Your own award is what? Is your own work. How you work every day to be somebody special, to be somebody unique, to be somebody strong than the other. So you have to be your own award. Follow a step to say that every day I want to be somebody. Every day think about it and work on it. You know, um, if one day you are a celebrity, it's first for you, not for somebody else. So work 
work, work, and don't think about anything. Don't think about uh, money, uh, a trophy, a victory, something. Don't think about it. If you think about it, you can f follow the right way because today everybody gave the trophy for, I don't want to be bad with the Nigerian people, but everybody gave them the, the, the trophy because they have the market, they have the industry, they are everywhere. Because of the video, because of the music, everybody we, 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 we you know, we listen to Nigerian music. But you think it's the best music in Africa? Me, when I listen to Nigerian music, when I close my eyes, the beat is American. But the singer sometimes they sing with a little, uh, uh, you know, Yoruba, a little Igbo, but all, and in the video too. You can't be an African and make a video uh, in a swimming pool with a Maserati, with a uh, uh, a, a, a Jaguar with a Mercedes with uh, you know your clothes in jeans and uh, you know, leather you know so my problem is this so if you want to work work in an original way work to be somebody alone work to be somebody who want to be unique and if you fight you fight every day on this way. You can have, uh, you know, one day what you need. <laughs> but of course, we have young artists who are also doing well here in Ghana, and I'm sure you wouldn't mind working with them. Why? Hmm, oh, maybe you want to work with them, and I'm sure they would also love to work with you. You are looking for trouble. Because the last time I came here, I talked about that. And it was a big trouble. But I don't want to talk about that. I came for unity of Africa. I didn't come to fight. But if you ask to Sarkodi, he can talk to you. Well, since you have mentioned Sarkodi, are you on social media? You say? Are you on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, of course. So did you see Sarkodi sending messages to apologize to you and say that I'm sorry? It happened that way. Did you see messages like that? Uh, it's a mistake. It's not a good idea. The first time I wanted to work with him, I called him. I didn't send the message on social media. Never. I find, I, 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 I look for his number. I found it and I called him. We talk on phone and we will agree with everything. So if you want to apologize me, you have to call me, he has my number. Why on net, uh, network, why? Maybe he did it because the story went out there, everybody was talking about it. So that means he want to apologize the public, not me. He never called me, he never called me. He has the song, and the song is here. It's the seven one, watch me body. It's the one artist. I love him, man. It's the one artist I wanted to work with him. A singer on the album. But when he has the song, he didn't do it. He and still I had several times, he didn't reply to me. So, so he still has the song with him. But it's finished. The album is already outside. It's finished. It's finished. I can't do it anymore. So I think it's, uh, uh, it's finished. No, I, I don't want to fight, you understand? But uh, it's, if one day he called me to apologize, oh, I accept. We are brothers. And if you love somebody, you love somebody with um, his good thing and his bad thing. So uh, I don't mind his life. Bless 
Blazo, zo, blazo, on a gagné. Hey, hey.